Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, before I start getting into, as you can probably already tell by the title, it's Boxburg House Tour. But before I show you guys even the front of the house, I want to clear something up real quick. Um, I don't know if any of you guys, I know, I know at least one of you guys, um, saw my video that said, um, please watch or whatever. I've deleted that, and all it was, if you didn't see it or you were kind of like concerned, all it was was I didn't know if I was going to upload today because I was going to experiment with something, but just... It's fine. Um, I'll probably make a video on what I was doing then eventually. But, um, so until then, let's go ahead and get right into this video. And there was something else I was going to say. I forgot what it was. So I guess we can just go ahead and jump straight into the video. Are you ready for the exterior? The exterior, it's, by the way, the exterior is not really that great. But, um, it's not another square block house. So, and. Oh, I did. I, no, 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 you never saw anything. And boom. There you go. This is the extra. I made the trash black bags and mailbox blue. But the, oh, I know what I was going to say, guys. So, um, by the way, I'm not changing the channel name just because the logo has changed and the channel art has changed a little bit because I really didn't like the yellow and black. Um, so yeah, guys, so let's go ahead and get right into this. So the first thing you see is I have this little path to the door, and there's, like, these little, like, garden lamps, guys. So before we actually get into the, like, house itself, let's go ahead and go over to here, which there is an automatic, um, door sensor. That's why the garage door opens on its own. And I have the skateboard and the motorcycle in here, and I'm probably going to eventually be getting some more vehicles in there in the future in this game. So, um... Come here, let me, I, I turned all the lights off, so I guess we're just going to turn them on as we go in. Um, so let's go ahead and turn on these neon lights right here. And then you open up these two doors, you got the welcome rug. And then, let's go ahead and turn these lights on, so you have, like, washing machine area. I only had 32k to make this, so, yeah. Um, you had that right there, guys. And then you have your, like, kitchen, like, appliances over here. It's just, like, a small little place. And then I, the reason I have this open counter is to, like, cut or mix whatever stuff. Um, because I know you have to do that to bake sometimes. And I have, like, the stove or whatever. So, um, and then I also have this little hood. I've never used a hood, like, ever in this game. Like, I've never bought one before. Um, but I did for this build, so, yeah. And then just flip on the light switch. And then I also have a two pieces of, like, I used to say homemade furniture, like a video, like an idea, because I have advanced placing. And so, by the way, I haven't finished painting all these walls. I've only painted, like, two of them, which is the bedroom walls, and these walls in here in the dining room. So this is where you would be eating at, usually. Um, if it's just me in here, usually, and, like, I just get something, like, small in the game, then I just go to the, my room and do it. So, um, let's go ahead, before I go to my room, let's go ahead and check out the, um, bathroom. You ready for, like, some, uh, you guys can probably already guess what it is. I have another, like, homemade piece of furniture in here. Let's go ahead and turn on the light, and boom. It's a shower slash tub. So, literally, you could be right here, taking your shower, because you can get a wall set that doesn't actually have anything like a full shower in it. Or you could just be right here here just like I pro I, I'm probably gonna rotate this the other in the in another direction than like where my head's at right now I need to be on the other side um so I'm probably gonna change that and then usually you know the water's flowing from the same side as the um shower head usually so I think I'm gonna change that and then you got your normal um um toilet and then a, fl a floating sink. I did not try this. I thought it was going to be on the ground, but it's it's fine. So I don't know why, but I just feel like it's a. Pr I need to turn the light off every time I leave the bathroom. We'll just leave it on for the video. Um. So then you come out here, and there's another homemade piece of furniture. You got your TV, and then you got. So you probably already see it's like a couch and a bed. You can see a little piece of wood in the couch, which isn't really amazing if you're trying to sit down. It could hurt your back. But, let's go ahead and turn, oh, oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, so, you have these, oh my goodness, you have these two little chairs you could sit on. Literally, like, six people could fit out here watching TV. If, so, like, if you get what I mean, so, like, someone can sit here, someone can sit in this chair, and then two people could sit on, could sit on the couch itself. Um, like, right here on the couch. Um, so yeah, it's like a couch bed thingy. 
like one of those like beds, you know, that turns to a couch, but I guess it just always stays in a bed. Um, so I don't know why I'm sitting right there. That is not the spot I should be sitting on if I'm sitting on the couch. Oh, so actually seven people, because you can sit, I use the like L-shaped couch. So you could sit right here, or you could also even sit up here, because, er, whoa, what? Okay, I've never sat on that side. I'm a little confused. So if I just stay right there. Okay, well, three people could fit on the couch part itself, and then two people on the white chairs. So that's already five people. And then if, if two people are fun with laying in a bed to watch TV, literally they could lay right here in these two um, beds. So, yeah. And then, um, oh, I'm just realizing now. Um, this is kind of like, um, an idea I got, um, so I put in this fire, I really wanted a fireplace, but I didn't know where to put it, I felt like everything was a little too, like, close, so, um, let's go ahead and turn on the fireplace, by the way, too, we aren't, we're not gonna roast no marshmallows right now, though, so, what I thought of, I was like, hmm, what if I put the TV on, the, like, chimney, on, like, the, like, outside of it, like this, and it turned out, like, amazing, because it was, like, $2,000 just for the chimney itself, and I was like, this better not be a big waste of money, and it ended up not being a waste of money, but I did have to delete a TV stand, because I had one, and I was like, well, what if I put it up here, and it actually looked half decent, so, um, I already showed you guys the washing machine stuff, I'm pretty sure, so, the moment you guys have probably all been waiting for, let's see if the, um, let's lock this for guests. Let's see if the owner lets us in. Hello? Hello? I don't know what I just did. I don't know why. I just responded to myself. Okay, lights, okay, lights are already on here. So, first thing you see is this bed. Oh, by the way, I painted this room blue. So, this is the second room I had painted. And then, I thought these curtains would work. They don't work, sadly. But, I have the um, acoustic guitar right here um, that I can play. And then, you have um bed. I should probably make it real quick. Um, so you have your normal white bed with, um, I mean, I guess it's not really a normal bed that people use often, but then you got the little penguin lamp right here, and then you have a little, like, desk lamp, and then, obviously, you have, um, your desk and, um, the computer on. It's really weird what's happening, though, because, like, watch this, guys. It's making me stand up. I think I have the chair too close, and I think that's why, because it... You're usually supposed to at least, I don't, I, I, I thought you were supposed to have to, um, sit in a chair to be able to use a computer. Maybe you don't anymore, but, um, it's letting me do it right here, standing up. This is a little weird, and I don't quite get why, and my face is eating my chair, but it's okay. And then I got the only phone in the house, right here, um, where you can order food, throw a party, or invite people. Um, and then you have the, um, casual, just, like, couch in here, um, and you turn on TV, and you can watch, like, obviously, all of the normal, um, channels that are usually on the Roblox TV channels, um, and then I have the jukebox that I bought with some block, block with some blocks books that I had, and then the final part of the house, it's not really too great, but it's small little, I guess you could say walk-in closet. There's not really much room in it. And then let's go and turn the light on that are in this closet. I put two of those lights in it. Um, they're like, I think they're called casual ceiling lights or something. And then I can just hide in here or trap somebody in here if they're like a guest. And then like I lock it for all guests. But, so then you got obviously right here you can still customize your character. Or put them into their night clothes. Or put them into a top secret outfit. So yeah. You can basically change. Um. Your clothes or whatever like normal. Um. This is definitely not the outfit I picked out. Um. Why is. Okay there we go. His hair. Is supposed to be different. And there's not supposed to be any builder's club hat. But it's all good. So let me go ahead and just go back. To my normal outfit. And that is basically, guys, I think, going to be it for the video. Um, I hope you all did enjoy. Um, oh, hold on, I forgot to show you guys one more thing. This is a picture that I imported. 
you can't just find this on the thing, I don't think. Um, I got to, it. I got to, like, some really high place in, um, the plaza, which I'll probably do a video on that game, but I used to play that game all the time, so I was like, oh, let me take a screenshot from my blocks per house, and if you don't believe me that I got up here and you think I took it off, um, the internet, um, then what's this right here, um, above my cursor, um, my name in the server list, so, yeah, I don't want to be here in that I, but I, um, didn't take that. So, yeah, I thought I took a pretty good screenshot. I probably should have gotten rid of the um, chat first, but it's fine. So, yeah, I just got a pretty good view of it. That's not the entire plaza. I just wanted to get a good view of some of it. Um, And it's daytime now, so I think that's going to be it for the entire video. Hope you all did enjoy. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. And comment down below your favorite part of the video. And if you didn't have one, hold on. There's a little secret light up here, by the way, if you guys didn't see that. And if you didn't have a favorite part of the video, just leave a comment. And, yeah, so, hope you all did enjoy the video. Um, And I'll see you guys all in the next one.